to our guest analyst, uh, Oliver Slope from Blue Line Futures in Chicago. Oliver is a good friend of the show. Oliver, anything uh, stick out to you there? I mean, we've had some stuff outside of our market and inside our market uh, take place today. But what are your thoughts here? Well, it, it's been a pretty constructive week. You know, last week we got the USDA report, which was mostly bearish, and we were able to reject that bearish report, which gave us a little bit of relief rally here today. But now we're back to some of these big technical levels. And for December corn, that's 530 to 533. This was support back in July and August. And the breakdown point from September 1st, as well as a key Fibonacci retracement. So we wouldn't be surprised to see the relief rally stall out here as harvest starts to pick up a little bit more rapidly and we get some more harvest pressure. If we fail to get out above 530 to 533, I wouldn't be surprised to see us go retest the low end of the recent range closer to that psychologically significant $5 handle. And speaking of psychologically significant levels, the November uh, soybean contract, new crop beans, got out above that psychologically significant level today, but weren't able to get much follow through through today's floor open. Uh, and a part of that probably lackluster export sales data, uh, but that's going to be a big one to keep a close eye on. Kind of an inflection point. If the bulls can chew through $13 with some conviction ahead of the weekend, potentially there's additional short covering. But in our eyes, that does not really change the intermediate to longer term trend of lower prices here as harvest continues to pick up.